Okay, hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. This is a video to show how to add another tent to panel. I was asked how to do that and I thought the easiest thing to do would be just to show the process. So we will get right into it and I hate to do this but I'm just gonna go ahead and close my face on out of here. <laughs> oh yeah! Here we go. All right. Here we have our tent two panel. And if you want to have another tent two panel uh, going, here's basically all you need to do. And I say all you need to do, but it's, it's a little bit more involved than that. So let's open up our tent two settings application. And now you can use you can use the same tent two panel if you want to keep the look the same, or you can choose a different one. I'm going to go with this one right here. So just go ahead and click on it and choose make default. All right? Yes. All right, here's that panel. Now, I'm going to go back to the other panel for my main panel, the Mio Deepen. But I'm going to set this panel up to be used as a second panel. So I'm going to edit that theme. Edit theme. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this up kind of like like a dock where it'll just have some applications to click on. So what we want to do, let's go to the, the panel category. I'm going to put it up here on top. I'm going to leave it at 100% right now. I will come back and check that when I get it set up how I, how I want it. Alright, so let me just, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that just so you can see it moves up here to the top. Now let's go to panel items. All I want are the launchers, okay? So I'm going to click taskbar. Of course you can do this however you want. I don't think you can have another system tray running. I think you can only have one running at a time. So you'll definitely need to probably get rid of that. But I'm going to get rid of everything except the launcher. All right. So I click on taskbar, click the right arrow, system tray, right arrow, clock, right arrow. Hit apply, and you'll see I'll only have this one launcher over here, probably. Yep, that's all we have. So let's add some more launchers. Now all these, uh, that comes with that Tent2 RC, they're not showing up, so you don't even have to really worry about them. If you want to get rid of them, just do that if it makes you feel better. <laughs> so let's add some launchers. Let's see, I'll put Audacious, uh, I'll put Chromium, Firefox, and I'll put the file manager. Is there anything? Oh, uh, yeah, the terminal. Okay. So I chose each. I clicked on each application that I wanted to show up. I moved it over with this arrow key right here, the left arrow. And now I'm going to apply. All right, there's my launchers. And as you can see, I. I'm going to put these over in the middle, so I'm going to have to go back to the panel. Let's see, I want those launchers to be a little larger. I'm going to make the panel size larger. Okay. Um, the length, let's see what 50% does. Uh, 
apply. Well, first I need to make these launchers bigger, don't I? That looks kind of freaky. <laughs> so we scroll down here, icon size. I'm going to go up to 48 on that. Oh dear. Let me just do it this way. And the icon theme. If you want to leave it like that, you can. But I'm going to change it to deepen. Apply it. And I would like a little more room between my launchers. So I'm going to change that spacing to see what 10 looks like. That's pretty good. I actually would like them a little further apart. That's my personal. I'm going to go 15. Okay, very good. Now, let's see. They're still not centered, so let me try reducing the length some more. I'll try 40. Nope. Let's go to 40. Didn't hardly move it. Let's try 20. Okay, that's centered pretty good. I'll just leave it like that. I don't think it's going to make that big of a deal because this is just for uh, entertainment purposes. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else? Oh yeah. <clears throat> now what you'll want to do, you're going to want, well I say you're going to want to, I want to make that panel disappear. Where it auto hide. There we go. Apply. Okay. So that's the way I want it. So I think I've already hit apply, but I'm going to apply it again. Now here comes the fun part. We can close this out. We have our panel up here. We're going to bring that other panel back in just a moment. So what we want to do, open up our file manager, show hidden files, and I'm going to open up another window of the file manager. Now we want to move that tent to RC that we just created for this panel right here. We want to move it somewhere where we can <clears throat> tell the auto start file to find it. So to find this tent to RC, you come to the config folder and you open up the tent to folder and there's this one right here, the one that says Tent 2 RC, these are backups of previous Tent 2 panels. You don't really need them unless you know you want to go back to one of those. If you wanted to go back to one of those, you would just change the name of it. You'd remove this one, change the name of this one just to Tent 2 RC. However, this is the Tent 2 RC of the one that we just created. Okay? And we need to put it somewhere where we can point to that RC file. So just to keep things simple, I'm going to put it in my documents file. You can or documents folder. You can put it anywhere you want to. I'm going to put this one in documents. All right? In documents. All right, let's get our original, our original Tent 2 panel back again. Now, what's going to happen here, this one is going to disappear after I change this back again. It won't be there anymore, but we're going to fix that. 
So I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to make it the default. Okay, and as you see, that one is now gone. So now we're going to fix that. So I can close this out. And now we want to open the auto start file. And that's in config, dot config, open box, auto start. Open it with your text editor. And come on down, go ahead and find where the original tent 2 is. And we're going to add the following line. Now you can do it exactly the same, sleep 2. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make mine sleep 3. I don't like, I personally don't like things all starting at the same time. But that's my preference. <laughs> All right, sleep three and and. Uh, I'm going to change the name of this one just so I can keep it in my head what it is. Tent to RC dash. Uh, launchers. Name it whatever you want to. Okay. So, back to our line that we're adding to the auto start file. Sleep 3 and and tent 2 dash small c. And don't ask me what the small c stands for because I don't have a clue. <laughs> I just know you have to do that. <laughs> All right, sleep three and and tent two dash C and the path to this item we're wanting to add. And that path is squiggly line documents tent to RC dash launchers. All right, and put an and after it. All right, I hope that makes sense. Tent to dash C and the path to the file with an and symbol on the end. Save it. close it out and now I am going to log out and log back in so I will see you in a moment alright okay we're back again took me just a moment to get the recording going again and here we have our second tent 2 panel alright so we have this one and this one so that's how it's done. I hope that was easy to follow and made sense. And hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. All right? Take care. Thanks.